What every medical professional must know about disability insurance policy limits on claims for substance abuse. One of the most common provisions in a disability insurance policy is a time limit on how long a claim will be paid for substance abuse. Carriers will either wrap a substance abuse policy limitation into the mental nervous disorder limitation or they'll have a separate substance abuse provision. Let's learn how insurance companies will weaponize these policy provisions and deny legitimate claims for disability insurance benefits. Let's first talk about mental or nervous disorder policy limitations. Many individual policies will have a mental nervous policy limitation. However, there isn't a uniform policy limitation, so it's crucial that you get out your policy before you stop working and apply for benefits and read this provision closely. Now, the provision may say that benefits are limited to just two years for any disability caused or contributed to because of a psychological condition. So is substance abuse considered a psychological condition? Well, it depends. If the policy incorporates the dsm 4 into the definition of mental nervous condition, the answer is yes. They might invoke the mental nervous limitation if your disability is psychiatric in nature, a substance abuse disorder, including alcohol abuse or addiction, or is the manifestation of an addiction caused by a physical issue, like a back issue. So if you've undergone back surgery because of a herniated disc and you become addicted to the pain medication because of your continued pain, your claim might be limited to just two years because of the way the mental nervous limitation clause is written in that disability policy, particularly if it says contributed to by drug addiction. You need to know in advance so that you can combat the carrier's mental nervous policy limitation game before your benefits are cut off. Now, if you have an association or a risk of plan or policy, you'll have no choice about the mental nervous limitation clause. I've never seen a policy without that, and there generally is a substance abuse limitation clause. Some individual carriers will say that the mental nervous or substance abuse disorder clause is optional, and of course you're going to pay for that, but generally it's a small additional premium. If your medical practice involves burnout, stress, or access to addictive medication, you might want to add this coverage. If you're an anesthesiologist, a pain management provider, emergency room physician, or plastic surgeon, I suggest that you consider this additional coverage. How KV Law can help you pick the right disability policy. I think that it's crucial that you have an experienced attorney look at proposed policies and the policies that you might have so that you understand what it is you're purchasing and the interaction or conflict between your disability policies. I've helped medical professionals across the country pick the right disability policy for them and help them understand the coordination of their policies. And I've taken on disability carriers like Mass Mutual, Emeritus Principal, Standard and Guardian in disability claims involving physicians. I can help you apply for benefits and take on the disability carrier if they are delaying or denying your benefits. Call today at 727-894-3188 for a complimentary consultation.